All right, everyone, uh, this is Pat from Heritage House. So as you know, the workshops were cancelled due to the COVID restrictions. So we're going to be uploading a few digital ones here online over the next couple of weeks. Uh, before I get started with uh, the workshop itself, I'll be using spray paint in this. Uh, now, the brand of spray paint I'm using is Montana 94, and you can get it for five euro a can in All City in Dublin. Also, it's a good idea to have a mask for this because it's kind of fumy enough um, and best to do it outside or in a fairly well ventilated area so to start with uh we're going to cover the jar with spray paint uh if you want to try and hit it with fairly short sharp little bursts just to stop the paint pooling in any areas you can see pretty much straight away i went a bit heavy handed here with this but stupidly decided to go around the other side and start fighting with the wind um just you want the paint to go on fairly transparent so the light from the lantern will uh come through the glass and pick up the colour of the paint so I'll be speeding this up in a sec um, I decided to go with pink and purple for this just because it kind of gives a nice sort of darkish kind of colour to the light but depending on the colours you use you can do these lanterns for any time of the year you could do one for Christmas and use fairly uh, cool colours like blues and whites and light greys uh, you could do them for the summer if you wanted and use warmer colours like uh, red, orange and yellows. So uh, this is it just sped up and after this then we'll be moving on to the silhouette that's going to go on the outside. I just decided to go with a tree for this one. Um, you can draw it out on paper and cut it out um, if you want or I just went online and grabbed an image, printed it off and then just cut it out. So that's the image I went with. There's a lot of twigs and stuff on this tree. Um, I decided not to include all of them. That's what you're left with there, just the shape of a tree. Uh, what we'll do with this is now we'll put this into the jar um, so it'll serve as a guideline for us to just trace around the outline with a marker. Uh, I probably could have picked a slightly easier one to put in the jar because the roots of this caused some problems getting in. But... Um, when you're going around the outline with the marker as well, it's only a very rough outline. It doesn't have to line up exact with what's inside the jar itself. And I'm using a fairly tall jar, so I needed a, uh, to use the end of the knife to actually push it up against the glass to get a better idea of what I was doing because between the distance it was away from the glass and the shadow it was creating was kind of messing with my eyes a little bit, so... Uh, once in, just stick a little bit of tape at the top to keep it in place. Once you've find, found the side, you're going to put it on and then get going at, around it with the Sharpie or whatever marker you're using. Um, and it doesn't have to be a tree, it can be anything like, it could be a more simple design like a pumpkin or something. Um, and it's only a silhouette that you're after. that's it done the outline the next job now is to use acrylic paint just to block it in now because it's on glass the brush tends to cut through the paint a little bit so you will have to go over it a few times if you want a really solid silhouette um and use a dark color as well i didn't have any actual like black paint so i mixed uh close enough to black color with uh phalo blue and burnt sienna acrylic paint and it gives you a uh, sort of almost dark navy kind of color um, and I just started blocking it in then on the jar it like I said it took two coats to kind of cover the whole thing but there was still patches where the paint was kind of light and the light was showing through so I just ended up leaving it up in the windowsill and touching it up here and there just to get a good proper solid colour because you just want the light kind of coming out around the outline you don't want it showing through the paint although it's not a big deal if it does that either but um, yeah and it's just these little lanterns are they're kind of good for like if you have a candle or a tea light or even like one of the battery operated tea lights it probably work pretty well in it. I could probably just throw a lot of fairy lights into it. So that's it done. Um, and when it gets dark I'll throw a little tea light into it and you can see what it looks like. 